Hey, FUMC Allen family, Pastor Mary Beth here. So how would you define the word hope? Dictionaries define it in this way. Uh, noun, a feeling of expectation and desire for a certain thing to happen, a feeling of trust. Verb, to want something to happen or be the case. So this is a, a season, a time of year that is usually marked by hope. Um, hope for summer. It's so close we can almost feel it. It's the end of the school year. It's the season of graduating. Um, in fact, at First Methodist of Allen, we have a number of people who are um, going through graduation. We have 18 high school seniors. Um, and we have 18 young adults who are graduating with either bachelor's or master's degrees. And on Sunday, May the 31st, we're going to recognize and honor and celebrate those folks during our live stream worship service. And I hope that you'll be a part of that. I remember my seasons of graduation. There were three of them. There was high school and there was college and, and there was grad school. And they were seasons that really were marked by expectation and trust. Expectation and trust that what I would planned was going to happen. After high school, I was gonna go off to college in a different town. Um, after college, I was gonna to move to the big city and get an apartment and a job. After grad school, I was gonna become an associate pastor and all those things happened just as I hoped and planned. So what are you hoping for? You know, the, the biblical um, idea of hope is a little more refined. Um, the biblical idea of hope is um, the confident expectation of what God has promised. Uh, Hebrews chapter 11, the writer um, uh, retells the story of Abraham and Sarah who are given a promise by God of descendants and land. And despite how improbable and impossible those promises seem, Abraham and Sarah move forward with hope in God's promises. Sometimes it's hard to have hope. On Tuesday in our staff meeting, Creative Play Day director Maureen Bowman shared these words about hope, and I asked if I could share them with you. Hope is the fruit of your relationship with Jesus when he becomes your Lord and Savior. But because you are human, your hope can begin to wane when life is really hard for a prolonged season, or you're jolted by a tragedy, or you experience a setback just when you're beginning to think things are going to work out. This is why we need to keep feeding our hope every day. So spend time with Jesus, who gives us hope. Celebrate the signs of hope that are all around us, and we must live our hope, especially when we are most uncertain. Maureen goes on to say this, this is a message which needs to be heard during this pandemic. In the midst of doom and gloom, let us look for signs of hope. As our state begins to reopen, let us focus not on the what ifs, but on the things we can take charge of to help our families, our neighbors and community. For our hope in our Lord Jesus Christ will sustain us. You know, the beginning of Abraham and Sarah's story has God telling them to pack up their tents and their family and just go where God is going to send them. And they don't know where that is. They don't know what road God will take them down. They don't know where the path will lead. And yet, Abraham and Sarah trust, trust God, and they move forward with hope. A few weeks ago, Ed Whipple shared um, something um, that one of our graduating high school seniors said that reinforces this sentiment. They said to him, I thought I knew where my life was headed. I had it all planned out, but God has a different path for me now. You know, the truth is, even when there's not a pandemic going on, none of us knows what the future holds. But because we have hope in Christ, we can trust and expect that God holds it. I'm praying for you. I hope you're praying for me. Stay healthy and keep being the church, my friends. Shalom.